everyone, welcome back to 50 Something Budgets. I hope you've all had a great week. Uh, welcome to all of my new subscribers. I have had a, a bit of an influx this week, so thank you very much for supporting my channel. And thank you to those of you who continue to subscribe to my channel. Uh, it is really much appreciated. Um, so a bit, a bit of a funny week this week, starting with you know having Monday off of that extra bank holiday for the state funeral. And then I've been having toothache, I've had my son's cold, I've been feeling very sorry for myself. Um, so it's been a bit of a, a different week and I didn't manage to get my usual Tuesday video recorded. Um, so that video tends to be a different kind of subject or an object update and I haven't managed to get that done but I still have it planned. Um, and I'm hoping that I might get that out to you, um, if not next week, then the week after uh, that particular subject. Because um, I've got my mum and stepdad up this weekend, they're staying um, into mid next week. And then I'm away with work for um, a couple of nights as well. So not much time this week to do a great deal at all. Uh, so let me take you through the budget for week four of September, which finished uh, on Thursday, yesterday. Um, and then I'll take you through our budget for the last week of September, which is a bit squeaky tight, um, but we will get there. So let's see what we did this week. So here is our sheet. So we rolled over £1,078.20 from last week. And I've added £40 worth of savings, which was £30 from our pet sinking fund and £10 from Christmas. Then I had these two fixed expenses come out, which was our Apple iCloud storage at 79p and our Virgin Media at 36 And then further down the page, you can see that we spent £10.45 on a couple of stocking fillers from Amazon and then £49.15, which was on pet food um, and a toy for my dog, which lasted about 12 hours. Um, he had great fun with it, but he doesn't know <laughs> if you get him any kind of like soft toy, even these tough ones, he didn't last five minutes with him, but he enjoyed it. Um, and I had to buy another sack of food um, because the one that I'd ordered from Amazon was supposed to come on Wednesday and it's only just turned up today. Um, so it, otherwise he would have had nothing to eat. So we had to buy that one. So that was 49 15 for the two lots of food and the dog toy. So those four expenses came to 96.38, which if I deduct that from what I had available, I'm left with 1,021.82. So variable expenses, uh, food, if you remember last week, we said we were gonna have a low spend on food. Well, that didn't happen. Um, and we actually spent 110 pounds 68 of our budget. So we're still within our budget, um, but we didn't really have a low spend week. At 9.57 was spent on household, uh, that was dishwasher tablets, laundry liquid, Febreze, um, I think that was about it. And nothing in toiletries and then we spent 97.27 in fuel which was above our budget of 80 and the reason being we actually put um, 20 odd quid in the camper van because we used our camper van on Saturday to go to the coast and my husband and I did our first cold water open water swim uh, in the North Sea. Uh, well, I say swim because it was really quite rough um, and it was just big, big rollers, big waves. So we were just playing those and, in those and squealing like kids for about 40 minutes. It was absolutely fantastic. I loved it. It's a, it's a group we go to um, and it does all the kind of the Wim Hof breathing and what have you. It's, it was about 15 of us. It was absolutely fab. Uh, that was our first go and then the leader of the group's on holiday this week so we're going to go next week again but fat, lovely people really enjoyed it um it was quite a nice day even though the water temperature was quite cool um and i was just in a swimming costume so um i think we'll we're going to definitely go again next week um but uh, it might i might not be in as long as i was this time uh family phone we didn't spend anything but i did use some of that money towards our eating out uh, miscellaneous was £3, that was the times for my husband, he loves uh, doing cryptic crosswords, but goodness me, that newspaper's expensive, he doesn't normally buy the paper, um, he just fancied doing the crossword, but God, three quid. Uh, £5 for the school bus and £6 for school meals, I had budgeted 15 but he, he had money in his account and he didn't need that amount. Um, so eating out was um, a breakfast for the three of us following our swim because trying to get warm after you've been in the 
say for that long um, <laughs> takes a while. We needed some a hot drink and something to eat. And then we finally had that Chinese that we were putting on and off all the time. My husband begrudged actually spending the money on it. But I was saying it's budgeted for, we've put the money aside um, out of the extra money that we got from the bank incentive. So we didn't feel as bad about having that. So those two um, meals were 43.34 and then there was £5.80 on uh, some Lemsip and some Paracetamols for my cold. But goodness me, haven't Lemsip's got expensive. They were over a fiver. So yeah, uh, remind me not to be feeling poorly again. Um, so all of my variable expenses came to £280.66, which left me £741.16. You'll see there's lots of rubbing outs and crossing outs on here because I lost three quid. I was out by three pound and it was doing my head in. So I had to find it. So um, I kind of kept adding things up and crossing it out and doing it again. So that's why it's a bit of a mess, this sheet. Um, so sinking funds. Um, so I've got 741.16 left after taking that off those variable expenses. So I'll bring this up here to my sinking funds. I put 10 in gifts, 15 in medical, 20 in Christmas, 15 in spending and £5 from Costco that was rolled over from last week. So that was £65. So if I deduct that from what I've got available, it brings me down to £673.16. I was hoping to pay off all of our priority debt. Oops, excuse me if that wobbled. Um, I wanted to pay it all off this week. and But to be honest, it was just going to be too tight. So I've paid £59 and a penny off. And we've got £90 left outstanding, which we will pay off first week of October. So um, you probably can't read that, but it says 614.15. Um, and then I've already gone through my purse and added up what I've got in pennies, which is 9.95. So I add that to the £5 that I'd already put to the um, penny challenge from my spending money when I do the, um, the roll the dice from my spending. Uh, no two pound coins um so if you remember last week i only had one the two weeks before that i had loads and uh i think i've jinxed it i think by saying that oh if i carry on like this i'll have had, i'll have my two pound coin challenge finished by the end of september <laughs> so uh, i think i spoke too soon and i've jinxed it because i've had i think i had one last week and nothing this week um i put 15 pound in fivers so i've got a fiver in my wallet to go um, on the £5 savings challenge and I put £10 in last week from um, a fiver I, I think that was from oh what was that from I can't remember oh I think I had that spare fiver didn't I and it was from the Friday fivers as well and then £40 went in my 26 week challenge so that was a total of 69.95 to savings um, so that works out at £547.20 which is exactly what I've got in my bank and cash it actually, for once, adds up. Yay! They match. <laughs> what I've got and what's on my sheet actually match. It's a miracle. Okay, so let's just put that to one side. And then I'll get my Percy Pig wallet out. Okay, so I've got nothing left in food. Um, I've got £10 and 3p in household. So I'm actually going to leave that £10 in there. And that is going to be my budget for next week. I'm going to leave the £10 in for toiletries as well, which is going to be next week's budget. And then miscellaneous, I've got seven. So the £5 is going in the £5 savings challenge and the £2 is going in the penny challenge. Uh, family fun, um, I think I've got £50 left in there now. Let's have a look. 20 40 50 yeah. And we are planning to go out for... Um, a, what's the word happy hour happy hour pizza meal with my uh, mum and stepdad tomorrow um so that should more than cover that um and i've just left it in family fun rather than put it in eating out so they took those two sort of budgets sort of combine really um, and then my spending money is outside this budget and there's all of my coins i just sort of divided them up already so i know all that is 9.95 okay so let's put that in the tin in the tin in the jar even out of the way 
tidy up. You don't need to count it because I already have. And I've just dropped a penny on the floor. I'll we'll get that in a minute. Otherwise, everything will wobble. Okay, so I'm going to do the fiver for the challenge first. So this is for the fiver challenge. I'm just going to move my van out the way a bit. Get this sheet out. Ooh, that was noisy. Okay, so one fiver for the five pound challenge. There we go. Coloured in as neat as usual. So we shall put that one in this five pound challenge envelope. In there. Okay, so I've got 50, 100, 150, 200, and 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. £240 in the £5 savings challenge. Um, and my revised goal for this for the end of the year was 350 So I think that is doable. Put that one back in there. I'll swap it for the penny savings challenge. Nothing in the two pounds, unfortunately. Put that one back over there. So I'm going to do something a little bit different this time. So as we know, I get 10, 15, 20 pound a week for my spending money. And I do the dice challenge. Um, and whatever the roll of the dice is, I take off my spending money and I add it to my penny savings challenge um, but because I've only really got a lot of big numbers now if I get say five or six it's going to be quite difficult to split that so what I thought I would do is I'm going to do it before I do my cash stuffing so I can add it to that 995 and it might just go a bit further so let's throw this and see what I get five okay so that's five for that that 15 can go get stuffed when I do my cash stuffing so I've got 9.95 and five pound no that's not right is it 9.95 and five pound 14.95 to mark off this sheet I hope that makes sense it makes sense in my head when I was doing it so 14.95 minus 173 174 175 176 177 so that's all of those done Ooh. and then we've got 179 180 and 261 can we do 261 yes we can 179 180 and 261 okay fabulous so I've worked out if I finish this orange column here and I add up all of these, it puts me in about £225, which is not bad, really, isn't it? So, um, and then I've still got October, November, December, because I'm going to just carry this one on until the end of the year, and we'll see what we get to on that one. Okay, so that's me all finished for week four, and then we'll just have a quick look at week five's budget. I want to realise where I've put it. Here it is getting squashed behind me okay so can we see that okay so I'm rolling over that 547 pound 20 I'm not expecting any income in this week um, we'll get paid well we'll actually get paid on the 28th but as usual I don't add that in until um, the end of the week when I come to review my budget because this is the fifth week of September, so I should only be sp spending September's money in September, which is why I only incorporate that, what I've rolled over. Hope that makes sense. Uh, so off that 547, I've got £71, which is my husband's phone bill and my son's phone bill. It has come down a bit since we got that credit on my son's account and took off one of the add-ons that they had put on um, without really notifying us or without us being noticed. Check your bills, people. Um, which leaves me 476 so I'm actually putting 140 pound in for food this week and that's because I have got my mum and stepdad here for uh, five days and we do like to you know treat them a little bit 
um, got some nice food in, bottles of wine and stuff. Um, I've rolled over that £10 for household and toiletries. I'm putting £100 in for fuel because my mum's um, 82 and though she can drive and she's a very competent driver, she does find the journey up here just a little bit taxing now. She's about 80 miles away from us. Um, so my husband is going to get her after work and then bring her up here. So And then we're, um, he will take her back next week before work. Um, so we need a little bit of extra fuel in there. Um, family fun is the £50 that we've got in the wallet. Plus we're adding 20 to it, which gives us 70 um, Miscellaneous gets its usual 10 £15 for school meals. I don't need to put anything in for the school bus this week because he's still got a surplus in there. Um, and then I haven't budgeted for eating out, but I know it'll come out of that family fun. Okay, so you might see, you'll see a figure in here and you might not see anything family fun. It's all swings and roundabouts, really. Um, so the total for those categories for my envelopes is 355. And that leaves me, <coughs> oh, excuse me, dry throat. Uh, that leaves me £121, which is a little bit squeaky for the end of the month. Um, for sinking funds then, I'm not putting anything in gifts. I'm only going to put a tenner in Christmas. I'm putting my £20 in spending. Um, but we know that's actually going to be 15 because five of it has gone in the penny challenge. And then £20 in clothes. So um, I do need something to wear, to wear for the work event next week. And I'm really just looking for a little top that I can wear with some trousers I've already got. Um, this is what happens when you, you stop going out so frequently and uh, COVID happens, you put on a bit of weight, nothing sort of fits anymore. So I just need a, um, a cheap top really. But I will get that out of my spending money. The £20 for clothes is because I need another hole put in a belt I got at Christmas. Uh, last Christmas um, and I need a pair of shoes I've got rehealing um, to wear to this event thing that I've got to do it's always smart casual I mean it's like what is smart casual it's really hard for a woman isn't it smart casual and the daytime is business casual well that's a, a like for blokes isn't it you know business casual don't wear your tie what's the difference between business casual and business dress for a woman you know, do we wear flat shoes? No tights? I don't know. It's just a really weird term. Um, so I'm putting £50 in sinking funds, which leaves me £71. Um, and then I am going to put £45 in the 26-week challenge. So that only leaves me a buffer of £26. Um, and I have realised, actually, in, in August and September, really, that our buffer isn't big enough our bank buffer and it's not because we're spending more or we need to spend more money have more money in the budget it's the fact that sometimes I have that money in cash and it really needs to be in the account because there are payments I need to make if that makes sense um so you know we don't go overdrawn we haven't had an overdraft in um 14 15 years um so I just need a bigger buffer so I think I'm going to aim to have that buffer at 100 instead of 40 pound um by the end of the year so that's one of my little tweaks to the budget okay so that is week five um planned out and that's week four done and dusted um so i shall be back um tomorrow with my uh, cash stuffing so until then do take care and i shall speak to you all soon bye bye